I'm ending a five-year relationship over a donut. I, 34F, am ending things with my boyfriend, 35M, after he ate my donut. A little over two years ago, my boyfriend and I were both laid off from our jobs. We both work in tech and the market has been rocky, but somehow I was able to bag another job within a few weeks. He never did. He never even applied. He said he wanted to transition into a new career. He explained because of how the industry was suffering, he thought his title would have fewer and fewer openings, and it wasn't a safe bet for him long term. I make decent money and told him I would support him while he transitioned to something more sound, because I thought that was a wise investment for both of us going forward. Our relationship was strong, and he was the kindest, most gentle, sweetest man I'd ever met, and I was confident this was an investment in us and our future. I assumed changing paths meant he would take a couple of months to apply to roles adjacent to but not the same as his last one, or maybe upskill with classes that would make him more competitive, but that never happened. For two years he's either done absolutely nothing but play video games all day while I foot the bill, or dabbles in even less stable self-employed career paths. YouTuber, TikTok influencer, Twitch streamer, digital marketer. I stress dabbled because he never once took them seriously. He never checked analytics, planned upload schedules, and gave anything but the bare minimum effort to content. Nothing. He has never gotten more than a couple of hundred views on anything. I have sacrificed things I want and need time and time again to get him supplies and subscriptions for his ventures. He will swear he needs it to succeed, and then he'll be able to contribute to the bills. A new microphone here, a new graphics card there. Lighting. A camera. Meanwhile it's coming out of vacation funds I could save, investments, furniture we need, or add to a down payment for a house. I've given up luxuries I love and could afford like getting my nails and hair done to make sure our rent and bills are paid. I would even be okay with this if he contributed in other ways, like cleaning or cooking or taking the mental load of running our house, but he doesn't. I do everything. He never plans dates. I plan my own birthdays. If he orders food, he'll consistently forget about me and order for himself. He'll break my stuff, accidentally, like dropping a dish, or getting my headphones wet, and then not understand why I'm upset when he says well we can just replace it. We have had countless fights where I tell him how used I feel, and how financially abused I feel. I tell him he needs to get a job because I can't do this anymore, he will beg for forgiveness, really try for two weeks and then do nothing again. Two days ago I ordered us an Uber Eats for breakfast as a treat. I gave him my phone to order whatever he wanted, and when he was done I ordered mine. All I wanted was a plain donut as a treat and a coffee. He ordered a full breakfast, a muffin, and a side of extra hash browns. When it arrived, I was on a quick work call. When I got off the call, he had already finished. I asked him where my donut was and he said he had eaten it. He had eaten his whole tugs back into ass pank meal, a muffin, hash browns, and my donut. He said he never saw me order donuts before, so he assumed it must have been for him. He didn't wait to ask. He didn't even stop to question where my food might have been. He saw that there was no other food in the bag, and still thought only of himself and ate it. I broke down into tears. It finally hit me. That one action made me realize how little care and respect he has for me, how selfish he actually is, and how big of an idiot I am. Now I'm sitting here wondering how to separate myself from someone completely dependent on me. Edit. Thank you so much everyone for your support and incredible advice. I'm trying to reply to everyone but I didn't expect to get this outpouring of support. If I haven't answered you yet please know I'm reading everything and taking your advice on board.